The Javelin study is um, a study in frontline metastatic clear cell renal cancer. It's a study that compares um, sunitinib, which is the standard control arm, with the study drugs, which is a combination of Evalumab and Axitinib. Evalumab is a PDL1 inhibitor, and Axitinib is obviously another FGFTKI, which may or may not be more potent than sunitinib. We don't know that. That's never really been tested. Um, the study's positive. Uh, and we saw today it was positive for response rate with almost doubling of the response rate. We saw a very impressive um, progression-free survival advantage as well with the hazard ratio in the 0.6s. So clearly better from the classic endpoints of response and progression-free survival. Um, tolerability looked very attractive as well. Um, what many were expecting if you combine drugs to increase the toxicity significantly. But that didn't appear to be the case. Indeed, the grade 3 and 4 toxicity was comparable. Um, but it hasn't yet hit that survival advantage that one would probably need to be very confident that the results are comparable to those that we saw with ipilimumab and nivolumab, which also tested against sunitinib uh, and showed a survival advantage with a hazard ratio of 0.63 in the intermediate and poorest patients, which was the label, the license, um, but also showed improved quality of life. Uh, from a patient's perspective, so living longer and feeling better. Um, the Javelin study hasn't nailed that yet. Um, the survival data is going in the right direction. It's an interim analysis. And the final analysis, we all hope, will be positive. Um, and, and then we'll have to look and see how these drugs compare with one another. I think one needs to look at indirect comparisons with huge caution. But we are going to have to do that because we're going to have to make decisions. And it may not be black and white. Um, we may, for example, be selecting good risk patients for immune plus veg FTKIs and intermediate and poor risk patients with, um, with immune immune combinations. Uh, the one thing that's confused the issue slightly is a press release came out at the beginning of this meeting for the combination of axitinib and pembrolizumab. That combination show both the progression free survival and the overall survival advantage. We don't know the data yet, but um, to hit at such an early stage of survival suggests the results would be good. And um, Evalumab didn't achieve that, the Javelin trial didn't achieve that um, uh, today. And that doesn't mean it won't in the future, and it doesn't mean they won't be comparable in the future. We genuinely don't know. But there is this sudden uncertainty around whether all these drugs are the same from a PD, PDL1, a pembrolizumab and a valumab perspective. And this is something we're going to need to look at in more detail. And clearly now the results of that axitinib and pembrolizumab study are eagerly awaited because then we'll have three big databases. Um, the fourth database clearly being the bevacizumab and atezolizumab data. And again, we look at that and we're also waiting for that survival signal. So I would say as it stands, the Evalumab and Bevatezo data are both awaiting that survival signal. The Epinevo has demonstrated an excellent survival signal. And the Axipembro has one, but we don't yet know what that is. And I think survival needs to be driving our decision in how we treat patients, because ultimately patients want to live longer and feel better, and progression-free survival response rates are surrogate endpoints tolerability and survival are meaningful. The one caveat to that is complete response. Patients are now driving for complete response rates. We've seen complete responses with um, single agent immune checkpoint inhibitors and immune combinations. The response rate from a valium abnax system today was modest, in a, you know, under 5%. And that may be one of the factors, along with the tolerability, which comes with survival and helps inform decision making. It's a very interesting time in kidney cancer and we need to see the axis and even pembrolizumab data.